How's the jet pilot? Got some uh, fresh gear. It's gonna be looking good again. These guys make the best gear in the business. Name on the back. That's yeah, good. Got some camo. You know, when we were growing up, we everybody dreamt of racing uh, for Jet Pilot. Always being the premier gear brand, always setting the trends. All the legends always reward Jet Pilot. Jeff Jacobs, Victor Sheldon, Chris McCluggage, Farthing, yep. So uh, yeah, it's cool to uh, still ride for those guys. And um, yeah, feels good to be in the best gear. So. Uh, when you look good, you go fast. So, um, going to uh, sport the red for today. Giving the goggles a bit of a clean. So in Havasu, the water here is like, they call it hard water, I guess. A lot of alkaline, something like that. So uh, the water is pretty hard, even though it's fresh water, it's hard on all your equipment. So uh, if you don't wipe your skis down properly, um, there's a lot of water spots on the skis, same as on the goggles. Obviously, uh, I didn't wipe them after the last ride, so uh, this time they were pretty caked. So let's give them a bit of a clean up so I can actually see where I'm going. But uh, yeah, what uh, you know, these skis are expensive and uh, people don't look after them. So uh, what I do with my ski, every single time that I'm done riding, like straight away I dry it off, like when I'm done with the day. And uh, I, I use Naughty Shine. So it's just a cleaning product, really good. The owner's super cool, good company, good people, and uh, they support the sport. So uh, yeah, give you, get some Naughty Shine, give your skis a wipe down after every day's moto. So at least when you come back, uh, the next time your ski looks good, and um, yeah, you don't look like a mess. So uh, that's it, tip of the day. Get some naughty shine and keep your boat clean. So a couple rides in, ski's feeling really good, nose pressure's good, so uh, the boat feels nice and settled in the turns, and uh, still carrying good speed down the straightaway, hookup is good, so yeah, seem to uh, found a good balance with this bad boy, so uh, yeah, now I just get to enjoy it, my shoulder's starting to feel a little bit better every time that I ride, so that's coming back slowly, but uh, yeah, all good. Nice uh, to be back on the water. Definitely appreciate these days, that's for sure. But yeah, ski's good, so I'm a happy guy.
little bit of uh, Body Beach history, I guess. Um, we are we obviously pretty spoiled to be able to train and ride here, but obviously Body Beach is super famous. Probably the most famous riding spot in the world. Obviously the World Finals has always been in Lake Havasu. All the top riders of all the generations have always spun laps around this track, so it's pretty iconic. Um, that island over there, they call it Bat Island. It's got a cool tribute to Nedra uh, Atwood on it nowadays. Um, yeah, all the top riders have spun millions of laps around this island. Uh, I can speak for myself. I've definitely done millions of laps myself around this this little bay. So uh, yeah, you know, it's it's always been um, a legendary place to ride. Um, a lot of choppers hold at the back of the track. Uh, we get a lot of big boats that pass by. Havasu is obviously really well known for all the power boats and stuff like that. So a lot of boat rollers come through. Chop likes to hang on the back of the track, but here on the, the closer to this side of the beach, uh, it's very shallow and uh, normally just very small chop. So uh, yeah, it gives you a bit of a change when you're riding here because you kind of get getting two different conditions. On the shore side of the racetrack, it's a really smooth or close to being smooth, small little chop. Uh, and then on the back side, you're getting all the big boat rollers, you're getting a bit of that more open water feel um, and a lot, lot bigger chop uh, on those back buoys. So uh, yeah, pretty interesting place to ride. And uh, the guys do a good track, a good job here with the track. Uh, obviously there's a, a few people that put a lot of effort into uh, the racetrack here and uh, keep it maintained, which is amazing. So uh, they, there's, there's a few different ways to uh, donate and, and to support the local guys that do obviously maintain this awesome track for everybody to come out and motor. So uh, yeah, if, if possible, uh, donate if you can. And uh, yeah, we do our best to, to make sure that this track's here. Don't do anything stupid when you're down here. Stay away from the boats. Definitely don't drink and ride. If the bass fishermen are around, try and stay away from those guys because we want to keep spots like this uh, open. And um, yeah, it's a really important part of the heritage of jet skiing. And uh, yeah, it's very iconic. So uh, Body Beach, definitely uh, burn some gas here, that's for sure.
So that was a good ride. So I uh, did something a little bit different this last ride. Ended up doing the track backwards. Uh, obviously there was one other rider out on the track but they actually started first. So uh, it was safe to do. And yeah, it was actually a nice change. So uh, did basically did the exact same s sequence of buoys just in reverse. Um, obviously because we ride here so often it's nice to have a bit of a change up felt like a like a fresh uh, fresh track so uh, that was good and uh, yeah got in the one little one last good moto in so uh, done for the day gonna wipe the skis down shine them up with some uh, naughty shine and uh, head back to Phoenix so uh, good day stoked to be back arms feeling better and uh, ready uh, to start getting after it cheers